Do we know where we're staying at all? No. In a parking lot. So we're leaving today for our big southwest journey. We're going to the heat. I mean, there's that. But think of all the things we'll see while we're out riding around. Sweat and heat. And water and sand. And sunburns. And suntans. No, sun, I'll get the suntan. I'll get, get the, the sunburn. sunburn. It's okay, though. It's going to be a good time. We have another um, fusion owner that's traveling with us, so that'll be big fun. Somebody we met through our page, so that's awesome. And we do have one more stop before we get out of town. We're going to chat with our friends at Keystone, do a little video work with them this morning. So keep an eye out for that. As soon as they drop their video, we will share it with you guys so you can yep. watch it. And I guess until you see us going down the road, this is it for today. So now we're getting ready to head down the road. Um, West? No. West. Let's try again south <laughs> and west. I really do know my directions. So we're going to see if there's a place to find to stay for the night. Can you do it? Pretty sure I can. Do you have availability for a one night stay tonight or are you full? I'm 45 foot. Mm hmm And there's actually two of us. Just one night, but they'll, they would be... If you have two spots, I'll reserve, and I'll let my friend know, and she'll call and reserve her spot. I just wanted to check before we both tried to do it. So, we're leaving today, and we don't have a place to stay? We do now. We didn't up until three minutes ago, but we are golden now. It is now. 3 16 p.m. I'm working a little out of my comfort zone but it all came together. Plan, plan, and replan. But I will tonight be planning my stay for tomorrow night so that we don't have this because it doesn't make me happy either. So of course, as you travel around and around and around, Lisa says, we must stop. We must stop here. And I said, why? It's nowhere near where we're supposed to be. Because it's the world's largest pitchfork. And there's nobody here. They're not even open yet. So we don't even have to worry about a place to park. There's been so, we've used so many pitchforks over our, our time, shoveling mulch and all that with our landscaping business. Thank so God none of them were this big because I couldn't lift that. That would be one big mulch pile. Yes, it would. Right, let's see what else we can find. So how was your first day at a Cracker Barrel parking lot? It was good. And breakfast is ready. It's not ready yet. It's not open yet. But it will be ready when we get in there. It won't take long. I don't have to cook and make a mess. So that's a plus. You gonna do it again? Maybe. I like the price of it. Uh, free is good. So your first day on the road costs you how much? Zero. So you're making your goal. You're beating your goal. That's right. But we were supposed to stay somewhere last night. We, we were. were we were going to gonna stay at a, at a Passport America that was going to be fourteen fifty. Over which budget. It's a little over budget. <coughs> But paired with a couple of free days would still be good. But we were so late because things, traffic, just things. It was a rough travel day, so Cracker Barrel it is, which is a perk because they got breakfast inside. Now, we were going to stop at Lowe's. But it, Their parking lot was it was a really little. tight for two of us to try to get in there. So when you're traveling with two people, you got to try to find room for two people. We could have parked out by the road, but then it would have been really loud all night. And so, anyway, Cracker Barrel was a better option this time. Lowe's would have been a first, too, because we've never done that. So, Cracker Barrel and 
breakfast is inside. Let's go get some breakfast. Let's go. Yet again, another stupid game I got to play between Checkers and Farkle. Here it is. One for the resting, for the adjusting. One for the tired hands. One for the letdowns, all thanks to the soul town. One for the shadow plans. You know the time has come for breaking some. biggest Bass Pro Shop in the world. And we're camping for free with two Fusions. One, two. two. And two Chevrolet, well, a Chevy and a GMC, so two GM products. It was not fun getting in here. We followed somebody else in. Oh, wait a minute, he no, followed, he us, followed in, us in. And we got stuck. Recommendation if you come here, it's the Bass Pro Shop at the Pyramids in Memphis, Tennessee. If you come here, try to come after hours, or at least not on a Saturday in the middle of the afternoon, because this place guess is what? packed. Biggest, biggest Bass Pro Shop in the world, busy on a Saturday afternoon. Who knew? But now we're gonna go check it out inside because it's a hundred degrees today, guys. So what do you think about the parking? Oh, it's fantastic, especially all hundred degrees that we're temperature outside here too. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Where is she? Reinforcements. You're in it now, baby. <laughs> Hello. Are you you're... have the heat? Uh, not so much. I'm oh. not used to this coming from the north. Are you ready to go inside? Let's go check it out Let's and go. see what's in there. Let's go check it out. So unfortunately for us, that door is closed. Is locked. And Somebody told here. us that it was open, so we walked all the way over I here. I kept seeing people there. I mean, I didn't know. I didn't want to walk all the way around the and building. And this and we're walking on the sidewalk, sidewalk nowhere. goes nowhere. <laughs> so I don't know where we're going, but we're going to try to go up the hill. We got to figure out something, guys. <laughs> it's too hot out here. So that was the largest Bass Pro Shop in the world. They have a hotel. And a bowling alley. You know we found the bowling alley if it was there. Bowling alley, like three restaurants, fancy restaurants that you need reservations for restaurants. And then they also had a Wahlburgers. It was okay. Lots of fish, like big sturgeon. And shopping, more shopping and more shopping. We didn't do a lot of shopping. We just got flip flops. Did you say the hotel? I said hotel. hotel. So, and an observation deck. You can pay, I think it was $5 for adults, three for kids. Take an elevator ride all the way up to the top. All the way to the top of that pyramid. Way we didn't do up. it because there was way, way too many people. The line was crazy, but the platform is glass, like, or I don't know, it's clear. You can see through it. So you're out there walking on either glass or some kind of plexi or something. So if you're ever in Memphis, Tennessee, you need to check it out. And if you need a place to camp, we are or camp. even if you need a hotel because they have that yeah. too so we'll see you guys on the next trip i know we have air conditioner but this is a moment say it again there's a slight possibility that i have too many shoes a slight possibility or better yet i just need a light in the foot of the closet so that i can find the shoes i'm looking for because my black flip-flops were hard to find in the dark in the big pile of shoes no damn wonder we're overweight in the it's nose. probably because you have so many shoes have three <laughs> All right, we've got to figure out something different. I'm sweating my face off. You're not even breaking a sweat yet. I am. There's no sweat there. It's hot, but we're going to the beach. It's going to be hot. There'll be a breeze. Next time, your job is to find us cool, good weather and not this following the terrible weather. I'm pretty sure after Vegas, it's going to be comfy weather. I'm pretty Vegas. sure.
gonna be Vegas hotter. is going to be miserable, but we have full hookup because we're at Thousand Trails Park, so you can run all three of your ACs. I'm at full hookup right now, and I couldn't run all ACs. It's because it's a 30 amp site. Mm -hmm. So in Vegas, we will have a 50 amp site, and you will have full hookup. But in the meantime, we're headed to Magnolia Hold on. Beach. I have water dripping off of my nose. Magnolia Beach in Texas, free camping on the beach. We'll see you guys Fingers there. Fingers crossed there's a site when we get there and we have a place park. Cross your fingers. We'll see you there. <laughs>